One of the things I get asked a lot about is how to make a recording of a PowerPoint presentation. So they want to record their voice and turn it into a movie with the slides. And it's really quite straightforward to do. I'm doing it here on a Mac, but you can also do it on Windows, a Windows PC. It's slightly different, and for that I've got another video. But if you watch this one, it does work pretty much the same way. It's just slightly different. If you want to see the one for Windows, just click on the link below in the description or in the top corner, a little I should appear. And if you click on that, you can click on that and that will take you to it as well. So here I am. This is my photography training course. And I just want to do a quick video here so that I can distribute it. So we're just going to do a little bit of it. What I need to do is at the top here, go to slideshow. And it's over here, this record slideshow here. And I could just click on that. There is a drop down arrow where I could choose the record slideshow and clear. We're going to come back to this in a moment because this is how you can clear the timings on there because it records your timings and it clears the narration as well. But we'll come and take a look at that. When it does play back, you want to make sure the narrations and the timings are there because we'll use those when we go to export the movie. So all I've got to do is click here on record slideshow and when I do it comes up with this and it's got my current slide here and it helps that I can see the next slide as well you then just do your presentation as you would normally so here I am this is my photography training course as you can see I've got some ostriches here they're looking at something and they'd like to be on my training course as well so a little bit about me, you can go to my website, here are all my details, make a note of them and you can contact me. On this slide, I'm just showing you some photos that I've taken so you get a sense of the sort of things that I've done. But I also want to point out you need to be a bit careful with your gear. And this has happened to me, so be careful with your lenses. Right, so that's all I want to do for now. I would normally go through and do all of it, but I'm going to stop it. I'm going to do it by clicking on end show. Now, if I was doing this and I just needed to stop for a moment, I could pause it. So that's paused it now. It's got this little play button, which would be better if it was a record button. And this one here allows me to start over. So if I wasn't too happy with that, I could start all over again. So if I wanted to start again, let's just hit play and it will now continue on as before. So let's just stop this because I'm actually quite happy with where I'm at. Let's hit end show. The total duration, the total time for my slideshow is 1 minute 33 seconds. Do I want to save the new slide timings? Yes, I think that would be a good idea because I'm going to need them when I play this back and turn it into a movie. So let's click on yes. And it takes me back to my presentation. And you can see here it's got the timing of each slide. So that's got 25 seconds. That's got nine seconds. Doesn't come up with anything for that because there's no slide there. It's actually uh, hidden. And so you can see the other ones there. If you look closely in this corner here, you can see what looks like a little speaker. Let me double click on that to make it bigger. Down here is where it has recorded the sound. So that's what that symbol is. And you can see it on the slides here that I've got it. So this is where I said to you, you could go into your record slideshow here and where it says clear, you can clear the timing on just a particular slide, the one you're on, on all the slides, which could be useful if you want to start again. Um, or if you're going back to using the presentation for real in a classroom or if you were doing it for a conference or something. You can also clear the narration on the current side and the narration on all of the slides. So that's the sound recording. You don't want to do that now you could come back and do that another time. How do I now turn this into a movie? One thing I should probably do is save it. So I'm going to click on save here. Always a good idea. As I said, I can come back and clear the narrations and everything. I'm going to go into file. I'm going to choose export and I'm going to save it here in my jargon free help folder. If I click here on file formats, you'll see I've got various options. 
JPEG for images, so I could export the slides as images, but that doesn't have any timings. And you've got other uh, formats as well. The two that I'm interested in are MP4 and MOV. These are the movie files. If I click on either of these, I'm going to be able to save it. Now the MP4 is probably the more universal, but to be honest, either will do. So I'm going to choose MP4. I can now choose the quality. So presentation quality is high quality, it's good quality. Internet quality is a little bit lower. And then low quality. I would go for the presentation quality. It works very well. This width of pixels here, 1920 by 1080, is actually standard kind of high definition. You could change it if you wanted to, but I would recommend leaving it as those. I can now use recorded timings and narrations. So it's going to pick it up from the slides, the actual timing and narration, and use those in the movie. Any slide that doesn't have a timing on it is automatically going to have five seconds. So the slide will stay there for five seconds if you haven't already done that. Now, if you've gone all the way through, that shouldn't really be a problem. But here, for the ones I didn't record it, it's just going to do those. So let's choose export. And you'll see down at the bottom here, it says PowerPoint is converting uploading video photography training to .mp4. And you'll see this progress bar move across here. And we're just going to have to wait for that to happen. So we're just going to shoot forward in time and see what the video looks like. So that took quite a few minutes to finish. I'm now going to go to my finder down here in my bottom left corner. I'm already on the folder. And there it is. There's my video. You can see the size of it. 605.2 megabytes. It's considerable size. So it should be good quality. Now when I play it, let's just turn the volume on. And when I do, it comes up with this and it's got my current slide here and it helps that I can see the next slide as well. So you can see I can scoot through here and it has remembered my timings. So that's quite a handy thing. So there we are. So that's how you can turn your PowerPoint presentation into a movie and then you can share it, you can put it onto a video sharing site such as YouTube or Vimeo. If you want to know more, do subscribe. I've got plenty of videos to help you out, not just on PowerPoint, but Word, Excel, Photography, even how to use Zoom and that question I get asked about it as well. What's the green screen option? Thanks for watching and stay safe.